What's up everyone, my name is Drew Enos. Welcome back to my Father of Arrows YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the brand new ESV Diadem by Cambridge in Edgeline Calfskin. Let's check out the unboxing video. All right, everyone, here we go. This is the brand new Cambridge Diadem in calfskin. Just got it in from Evangelical Bibles. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing video. This is exciting. Bubble wrap. Invoice. New card. It's awesome. All right. So, comes shrink wrapped. Really nice box. This is going to be a clamshell box. Yeah. Here it is, calfskin. Holy Bible, English Standard Version, Cambridge. Super clean. I really like the Holy Bible on the front. It's gold. Let's see, the liner. Okay, so calfskin leather. Cambridge Bibles, limited warranty. This is an edged, edge-lined Bible. Corners. Calfskin leather cover. Now, the liner is going to be the same as the wide margin Bibles in the Clarion. So it is that kind of synthetic material. I wasn't sure if they were going to go with the calfskin liner like they did the topaz, but they didn't. Edge line here. This is where the liner goes in. That's what makes it edge lined. Presentation page. Family records. This is 8.2 or 8.5 lexicon font printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. And this is on French milled European paper, 2016 edition of the ESV. Preface to the English Standard Version. This is oh, chronology of rulers during biblical times. I think I've ever noticed that in the pit menu. Weights and measures up front. Cool. Old Testament. Genesis. I remember thinking, if we could get the wide margin size text, but without the wide margins, this would be the perfect size Bible to carry around. And that's pretty much what we have here. So awesome. This is the same pagination as the wide margin and the pit minions. This is Smythestone not glued. We've got three 
red ribbons. They are double satin, a bit thinner, I think a, maybe a quarter of an inch, which I think is okay for this size Bible. We have red and gold head and tail bands. here, red under gold. I think probably the only thing that I'm not going to love as much about this Bible is that it's a red letter text, which they do a really good job on these. It's a, a darker red like the topaz, which is great. I'm just not a huge red letter fan. I would much prefer red as an accent like some other publishers do but it's beautiful the size of it is just so nice Let's see here after revelation there's the concordance Concordance is in three columns, same one that's in the, the wide margin. So it is pretty small, lots of space on the top and bottom. And then after that, maps on a thicker kind of cardstock, not on glossy paper, which is awesome. And then just some blank end sheets. Yeah, the size of this Bible is awesome. The calfskin is really nice. I mean, it feels very similar to the Mariva calfskin, um, but it's not quite as soft because of the synthetic liner as when it's calfskin on both. But yeah, just floppy, I think that this uh, yap even, oh yeah, that's awesome. Very generous yap. I'm excited to see how that trains. It's a, it's definitely longer on the sides than it is on the top and bottom. That's gonna be great. There you have it, very quick unboxing review of the brand new diadem. This is uh, eight and a half by I think five and three quarters or something. The paper is, I'm pretty sure it's the same 28 GSM paper that they use in the Topaz and yeah, it's like kind of creamy looking. It's. I mean, really not a lot of ghosting. There's a lot of page curl on this. I wonder if it's just because of like shipping freshly from the UK or something. I feel like normally that doesn't happen as much, but you can see the pages are a little kind of bent, a little warped. So I'm sure that's just because it's just traveled, but so stoked about this beautiful Bible. Make sure you check it out. If this video was helpful to you in any way, would you consider liking and subscribing to the channel? Thanks so much. Have a great day.